challenged myself to wake up at 5 am every single day for a week and the results were not what i expected hey lovelies welcome to my channel the productive girl i'm currently doing my night skin care and as you read by the title i'm going to try waking up at 5 am for a week today is the final day of january and i'm going to kick start this challenge from tomorrow february 1st so after skin care i just have to go to bed that's it and about this challenge i don't know if i can able to complete it or not because i'm really confused about it whether i could be able to do this or not and also my sleep cycle is kind of messed up so that's why i thought of starting this challenge so that it can really helps me to change my sleep schedule that's why this 5 am challenge and i'm really excited alarm is set so this is a book that i'm currently reading good vibes good life by vix king and i already love the vibes of this book so i'm going to read a little bit and then go to sleep see you guys in the morning if i wake up <sighs> kind of regretting this decision let's see <laughs> Good morning guys. It's 5 6 a.m. February 1st. I really can't believe I woke up right after the alarm. That's great. Let's quickly make the bed. That's the simplest productive thing that we can do that makes a huge difference. Let's go. It's literally dark outside. It's 5:20. I brushed my teeth, then splashed some water on my face. Now I feel quite awake, but I was little sleepy while I was waking up. Also, not gonna lie, I kind of need like coffee right now to feel awakened. But it's not the first best thing to do right now, so I'm just gonna stick to water. Last night it was kind of difficult to fall asleep. Now the plan is I'm going to read for some time because my morning routine usually have like three main things: walking, reading, and journaling. It's literally dark outside and also cold, so I don't want to walk right now. So I'm going to read. It's 5:52, 53. I read few pages. Now I'm going to write my journal. So this is a journal that I try to write every day. I will link it down below for you guys, and I will be writing my gratitude for the day and affirmations for the day, and also I will be writing few of the goals that I need to get reminded about, and also I will write good habits and bad habits. That's it. <music> It's six eight. I done with my journaling. Feel good. Also, I updated my planner, and here's my morning coffee after an hour of waking up. I like to keep it that way. Good. Just with one sip, I'm feeling like I'm waking up. Guys, it's six twenty three, and I'm going to go for a walk right now. I'll see you guys once I come back. Guys, it's 7:34 a.m. I'm back from my walk. So this is the steps that I walked, and there is finally some light in my room. Quite cold outside. This is like a morning walk after quite some time because due to the cold weather, I avoided morning walk. And finally today, I feel so good. So it's such a productive start to the day. Now I'm going to do little bit planning and then move forward with the work for my day. Normally, I would wake up at this time, or if I wake up at around 10 o'clock, then I would start my work at 11 or 12 p.m. Sometimes as well. But I'm just starting my work at this early, like 7:30. It's just so good. As a workaholic, I love this feeling. Really excited to get productive and get things done. Today is Wednesday, which means I have to upload a video today. I will tell you guys like an update how I feel. Maybe midday. 
or at the night as you can see i just checked and i have slept only for four hours and four minutes today which i really don't feel good about and i'm also thinking of taking like a little nap in the afternoon let's see Good morning guys it's 5:10 am and today i slept for 6049 minutes not bad today was quite difficult for me in terms of energy levels i got really tired as the day goes by today i woke up feeling fresh rested i went to bed around 9 o'clock yesterday i feel already fresh and ready for the day like i'm awake i don't need coffee it is better than yesterday of course than making my bed it's so dark outside Now I'm going to do some reading. After reading, I will probably make myself a coffee. got my coffee done with reading and also journaling 6 4 am i'm going to go for my morning walk right now but before that i just wanted to talk about this book this is good vibes good life by vex king it's so easy to read beginner friendly i don't want to keep this book down i want to keep reading it yeah i really like this book so far i'm currently at 18 percentage on kindle okay lovely it's 7 6 am i'm back from my walk and slowly the brightness is increasing morning walk did energize me feel good now i'm just going to take a shower and then start to work and i'm really excited to start work early so that i can finish of work early and get some more me time i'm so happy about that actually it's really cool to wake up at 5 am when most of others are sleeping right now i feel so energized and so good actually when compared to yesterday let's see later good morning guys it's day 3 Okay guys yesterday it was like a okay day i wouldn't say it's like a very productive day and i didn't got any headaches and my energy levels were good all good but still i felt some sort of tiredness so that's what happened yesterday and today i didn't get enough sleep let's see i'm going to start off by reading as usual I done with my daily planner and also I updated my planners like used it. Now it's 6 11 a.m. I'm going for a walk right now. Morning walk. I'm so excited. Hey guys it's 6:43 and i'm back from my morning walk comparatively i gone for like a slight small walk because i had few work to do so i walked 1517 steps that's not bad today my sleep hours is not at all good 3 hours and 43 minutes that's my total sleep time i fall asleep late like yesterday night because i had lot of work to do still not completed that's why i'm starting work pretty soon so i'm going to start work right now let's see. let's do this
ओके आई विल सी गाइस लेटर बाय Good morning, you guys. Yesterday was quite a productive day, I would say. My sleep, even though it is less, I was able to function properly and also have like a productive day. I got work done, but anyways, now I'm going to read as usual. And I just wanted to share that this book is just so good. Good vibes, good life. I would highly recommend. <laughs> around 24 percentage right now i'm at 30 percent i really want to read the next uh, mini chapter which is about meditation but it's time to go for a walk but before that i thought i will share with you the things that helped me to you know stay awake while waking up even though i got like a little sleep so the first thing is splashing cold water onto the face it really does helps and the next thing that really helped me is water wow bird chirping in the background i don't know if you can hear but it's cute this also really helped me like having water i got like 500 ml off of this bottle filled up and i was keep sipping it while reading and it's done so it really helps me to awake in a sense so these are the two tips that i have for now to stay awake now i'm just going to go for a walk i'm so excited because personally i love walking the morning chills the breeze birds chirping it's just so good to connect with nature and go for that beautiful walk definitely the one thing i'm looking forward to and also i'm going to try something new which is called like walking meditation i just stumbled upon this on spotify so i thought i would try this this is like 10 minute uh, guided meditation like we can do this meditation while walking i thought it's so cool and also i wanted to uh, try out meditation this year it's one of my goal so i'm going to try this i will see you guys after walking Good morning guys. I really want to go to bed right now. But let's get up. I brushed my teeth so had like one glass of water. Now I feel quite refreshed. Yesterday was a really productive day. I must say that there is no headache, no tiredness whatsoever. I felt really good. It's a fourth day, right? So fourth day was I feel like it's completely best. I'm going to read for quite some time. Let's go. Six o four a.m. Yesterday, I tried this walking meditation. I didn't update you guys about it. It was so good, actually. You should try it out. It's on Spotify. I love the meditation. Okay, let's go for a walk. Hey guys, I'm back from my walk. Today it was so chilled, cold. I didn't ended up walking for a long time. I just walked 743 steps. That's okay. I can't manage cold that much, so I just came home. So now I'm going to see my to-do list and also I'm going to have a banana because today for some reason I feel hungry, but also I don't want to eat typical breakfast food. So I just thought a banana would do its job. Since it's Sunday, it's pretty chilled out day. I will maybe reset it's also cheat day i can eat well and also rest if i need it what else i will plan for the next week i plan youtube videos for the next week it's all about planning and resetting for the next week so it's going to be pretty chilled out today 
also in the book good vibes good life the author shared like a meditation practice i think i want to try that actually but i think i will try that tomorrow or on tuesday when the challenge ends i'm so excited for it finally the challenge is getting to over anyways it's a talk for next day but do some planning and have a relaxed and chilled out sunday so guys tomorrow i will check in with you guys with what's my energy level today and also we can wake up tomorrow at 5 a.m bye Good morning guys. Today I got like 6 hours and 1 minute of sleep. It's quite good that it's around 6 hours today. Also the deep sleep timings is really increased. Slowly my sleep is improving. I'm quite happy about it and I'm glad I took up this challenge. Anyways, let's start with the reading. I'm going to read for a little bit and then as I mentioned in that book itself there is like a meditation practice. I'm going to try that next. First let's catch up with some reading. So then I got my Kindle and my current favorite candle which is from SJ Merch and then I started to write my to-do list for the day. This is something a must have for me. Having a to-do list will really help me to do what I want to do. So this is like a morning to-do list what I can do in this morning routine sort of. Started with my first to do on the list, which is to read few pages. Please, I have my coffee with me. I'm going to do the meditation that's in the book. This one, Meditate Now, a step-by-step -step guide. I'm a little skeptical or worried that what if I fall asleep? Because that's the problem with me not starting the meditation for such a long time. Mostly, I feel sleepy while doing and also right after the meditation. Drink my coffee, go for a walk and then come back and do the meditation. The walk can wake me up completely. Now, I'm quickly cleaning my desk before I go for my morning walk. So did a quick tidy and then I washed my face and also applied some sunscreen because I will be going for like a sunrise walk. Then I went for a morning sunrise walk. Okay guys, I'm back from my morning nature walk. It is so peaceful as usual. I love my morning walks. I witnessed such a beautiful sunrise today. And while walking, I listen to this affirmations, which is really good. I am alive and energized. Then I was updating my to-do list. I wanted to try meditation for so long. And coincidentally, there is this guided meditation thing in the book that I'm reading currently, Good Vibes, Good Life. And I thought hey, this is the sign that I need to do my meditation since it's quite difficult to read few lines and then you know close your eyes and meditate i thought it would be a better idea to do like a voiceover of the instructions that is given in the book itself and also the author mentioned the same as well you can like voice record yourself and then listen to it and do your meditation never have i ever done meditation with my own voice how would you rate your vibration and then i listened to it and did my meditation it was quite weird to listen to my own voice but it's quite unique to the one which i usually listen like the guided uh, meditation it's quite unique and also i really liked it there is no need to change anything simply notice and then open your eyes so done with the meditation then i filmed the reel for instagram so if you don't follow me on my instagram do follow this is my page looks like started to work and 
that's it good morning lovelies happy tuesday and it is the last day of this challenge and i'm so happy and excited about i will definitely talk about my experience and thoughts later at the end of the video but today as usual started my day with some reading and then some coffee i like to be educated but i'm so frustrated hello to my loneliness i guess that in the real sense really love this planner from Laurent Blanc so and then i went for a walk a good morning walk i even had a look at the moon after a walk it's around 6:53 and i started to work that's it hey lovelies now coming to my experience and thoughts about this challenge initially it was definitely difficult to wake up at 5 am and as i mentioned my need to take part this challenge i just want to try it out out of curiousness and also i do want to change my sleeping pattern my sleeping pattern is all good right now so my goal of this challenge is so good and also i feel like as the days pass by the challenge was quite easy to adapt to my body and my mind and also it's quite productive you know as the days goes by the challenge my productivity is also increased and my energy level is also like stable because in the first few days my energy levels were inconsistent for the question if i will continue this challenge to be honest no i think 5 o'clock is too early for me either 6 o'clock or 5:45 am will be the best for me but definitely this challenge helped me to understand that anything is possible because i was waking and sleeping at different timings earlier but i challenged myself to take part in this challenge and wake up at 5 am every single day for the week and i did it so this challenge it's good and it increased my productivity so much i feel so productive and out of curiousness i even tried to wake up at 4 am one day and i documented that also for you guys if you're interested you can watch that video which will be flashing on the screen right now it's indeed a calming and productive morning again so that's it for today's video if you like this challenge found it motivating or productive then give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe it motivates me a lot and thank you so much for watching see you guys next time until then be positive and spread positivity bye bye